Hi, this is Jeff Schlebach with the Kohu Semiconductor Test Group, and today I'd like to share with you another Unison Quick Tip. I hope you find it helpful. The Unison Auto Profiler tool can be a great help in understanding where most of a device's test program execution time is spent. We covered this topic in detail in other Quick Tip videos. To find these videos, use the search term Profiler. If this topic is unfamiliar to you or you just want to refresh your memory, the video titled Setting Up and Running the Profiler Tool is a great video to start with. In those videos, the Profiler was started from the Unison Op Tool. We did this by choosing Edit Performance and then selecting the Profiler button. After running the program, you need to go back through the menus again to disable the Profiler. That's a lot of clicking. But we can execute the profiler directly from a simple shell script like this one from the Optools X term. Not only is this easy to use, but after you've created and customized your script, you won't need to remember the settings you used the last time you used the profiler tool. Things like the number of times to execute your program or the profiler options you want are all saved in your script. It also eliminates the need to go back and turn off the profiler as the CEX start under profiler command handles all of this for you. I saved my script in my home directory and called it run auto profiler, but you can name your script whatever you like and save it wherever it is easiest to remember. Because the first line of the script tells Linux what shell interpreter to use to run it, all you need to do is to set the execute permissions using the chmod plus x command followed by the name of the script, run auto profiler in my case. You can then execute the script by name. So let's open an optoolx term window and run the script. I'm in the program directory of my test program. So to run the script, I just type tilde slash run and hit the tab key to autocomplete the script name. Press the enter key, and the test program starts running the number of times defined in the script. And then it executes the profiler and is done. The script automatically opens three of the profiler files in gedit. If you want to use a different editor, look at different result files, or perform a different action entirely, just edit your script. You can inspect and interpret the information in each of these reports just like you would if you ran the profiler from the op tool. So I encourage you to use this script as a starting point for your own run profiler script. Give it a try the next time you want to execute the Unison Auto Profiler tool. I think you'll find it convenient. Oh, and if you want to be informed when other Kohu Semiconductor Group quick tips are posted, consider subscribing to our channel. Also, if you have an idea for a future quick tip topic, please post an expedite ticket with your idea and we'll give it our consideration.